Welcome back to another studio vlog. <laughs> I was struggling with what I was going to say then. I was going to say welcome back to another week and then I realised I didn't want to just say studio vlog. Anyway, hello. It is Tuesday the 21st of April. I have just sat down. It's in the afternoon. Lovely sunny day outside and I am struggling with whether to do some drawing and whether to do some business work or whether to get out in my garden um <laughs> but ultimately i need to get on with some work so that's gonna win out so i'm going to maybe work until about four so about three hours and then just get out in the garden maybe mow the lawn and do some other tasks and stuff um really into my gardening if you hadn't guessed uh don't know where this love of gardening has come from but i'm enjoying it and I am looking forward to reaping the rewards of um, growing things. So these are my chilli peppers or cherry peppers. These are just four of them. I actually have 16 plants. I've got eight over there on the bookcase windowsill there. There we go. Um, I've got these four which I'm going to give to my friend. And then I had another four which I've already given away. So that's great really looking forward to seeing how they come along i've got some more seeds which i need to transplant and things and just look after i'm gonna dig um, some more of my vegetable beds so i've got an even longer area to plant because my broccoli will be ready to go into the garden soon so i'm excited anyway drawing wise i'm still working on this damn swan it is tedious but this is how far i've got right now I did spend a little bit of time working on this yesterday, um, I think that's the beginning of the footage for this vlog, yes it is, <laughs> it is now. Um, so yeah, I am going to work a little bit more on this for a little while until I get a little bit bored with it. I've got Gardener's World on in the background so that's keeping me going at the moment. I've also... <laughs> not gonna inhale my hair i've also got this tulip which i need to draw because i want to create a youtube video out of it that's not going to be this week it's going to be next week now um today oh sorry my mouse was on the wire my you, you was on the wire of the mouse um i need to edit my vlog because i didn't do that yesterday like i said i was going to um i didn't send over the clips or anything had it had the like file open to edit it and everything but never actually got around to it um, so I need to do that today, work some more on that swan. Um, and I think this evening, I didn't work yesterday, Monday evening in the end. I literally just spent the time just chilling out, which was really nice. So today, this evening, if I feel up to it, I think I'm going to try and record some fur for a fur tutorial. Um... And maybe just edit Friday's YouTube video so I don't have to worry about doing that when Friday comes. I don't know. Um, I'm still feeling a little bit like, not unenthusiastic, but I'm still feeling, 
I'm still trying to get into the groove this year so far of like actually getting down and working with not being able to see anybody and not being able to like really do anything it's kind of it's weird you know guys <laughs> you guys know it's like you're feeling the same but it's just weird and it's difficult to get into the mindset of wanting to do anything and like wanting to move forward um so yeah that's where I'm at right now um, let's get on and I'll show you the editing process of this vlog because I'm not sure what else I'm going to show you apart from the swan this week. Hello, it is Thursday. Hi friends, it is Wednesday, I think. <laughs> it's the 22nd of April, whatever day that is, I'm pretty sure it's a Wednesday. Um, yeah, it's currently 3pm and I am just sitting down to work. I'm feeling very unmotivated this week. But I'm just sitting down to work and I'm just editing a YouTube video for Friday. I have the green cat eye which I did like back in December that um, I've been meaning to make into a, sh a time lapse YouTube video for ages now um, but I'm just getting around to doing it so that's going to be this Friday's video I am just editing the footage together so I've literally got yeah I've literally got like this much done which is about a minute edited I've decided to kind of break this one up into uh, like several small real-time clips of the beginning just like outlining that I am putting in the highlights and then I'm just going to time-lapse a little bit more of it um, yeah so this is I'm aiming for this to be about 12 minutes long so it's not gonna be like a super long video because it's only an hour and a half tutorial anyway so it's a pretty easy and quick one um, I'm thinking of making like a little card for the end of my videos I don't think I'm gonna put it in this video but I'm gonna make a card for the end of videos that has like a little um, patreon and website intro thing so that it's visually there rather than just like a tiny little pop-up on the bottom I don't know um, yeah so that's my that's my workload today I don't know if I'm going to get any drawing done because I'm feeling like the swan is just being very tedious. Here is where I got up to. I literally did this bit yesterday. Oh, and I think I did a, this bit as well. So I did those two bits yesterday. That is literally all I did and then just packaged orders. I feel like I would. I want to work a little bit on this tulip, if anything, because I want to get this botanical thing done so that I can make a YouTube video for next Friday. And I'm also going to obviously record the whole process and I think I might just like voice it over and do it as like a time-lapsed kind of tutorial for Patreon and the website and see if it's something that people would like in the future. I know it's not like pertaining to wildlife per se but it's still coloured pencil work and it's still like a technique and everything. So I feel like I want to work on that a little bit if anything. Um, the only thing is, again, because it's during the day, I need to make sure that I pull the curtains and that there's no kind of weird pink glow. So I need to get a towel and hang it over the curtains so that it kind of blocks a little bit more light. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much, I think, all I'm going to get done today. Because uh, it's already three and I want to work on this YouTube video at least get that done today. Uh, I'm also waiting on a delivery of cards, so I did a little bit of a restock 
I think I've got some barn owls, some kingfishers and something else coming in the way of cards. And obviously I need to package those up. I think I might do that. Um, I might get James up when he's due to get up and let him play in the garden for a little bit. And then I can package those cards at the same time. And that'll kill two birds with one stone then. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's how my day is going. So when those cards arrive, I'll show you some packaging up footage. And if I decide to work on the tulip, I'll show you a little bit of that as well. So I've edited the footage. My parcel is here. So I'm just going to open it up now real quick before I voice over the tutorial. So I want to make sure that everything's like okay in this before... I do anything else so I don't have to like email anyone. So let's open this up. Oh, okay. Just a small order, it's nothing humongous like last time. So here, here's our, oh my god. Right. You're gonna have to go this side. Here's our order. I think everything's fine. I didn't have to like do any artwork or anything, so I'm just using files that I already had that I know printed fine. So we've got our cello envelopes, which are compostable. Standard envelopes. And then our art cards. So Oh yeah, I ordered the mouse because we're low on this one. So this is, well it's actually been reprint, um, reprinted in May. Amazing, oh my gosh, I'm having so much trouble talking. Um, this has been printed amazingly. Look how cute this one is. So we've got the mouse. Um, the owl. Again, printed beautifully. And my cat's just knocking over all of the bin and everything, so that's great. And the Kingfisher, which I haven't actually had printed for a while. There we go. Beautiful. Everything's printed lovely. I'm really pleased with that. So I have to package these up, but I'm going to um, make sure I voice over this YouTube video. So I've made the video about 12 and a half minutes long so it should in theory only take me that amount of time to voice it over and then I just need to edit the voiceover and um, remove any pauses and then just alter the, the footage a little bit to fit the length of the voiceover once it's been edited with all of the like ums and if I cough or anything I take that out as well uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna do that so hopefully that won't take me that long and then I can get on package those up and then do a little bit of drawing hopefully and then hopefully my cat will stop getting in the bin and being a nuisance whilst I'm trying to voice this over we'll be no hard goodbyes thank God we're civilized be on our separate ways as we fade into grey the way the way you used to feel maybe we rose too fast maybe we got too high yeah i do remember tears and the laughter how could we fall so fast and let us go afternoon it is Thursday the 23rd of April um, I've been doing a little bit of work this morning I uh, decided to start on the tulip that I've been waiting to do for like a week or so now I'm just gonna pop you in this stand there we go um, so yeah I started on 
the tulip. Let me show you some progress on that. This is how far I got. It's really fast going, um, purely because it's just like a lot of smooth blending and then some um, like details and stuff. So I've been using the Holbeins for this, They're really, really nice. Um, and some polychromos on top for like those really fine details. This is gonna focus, which I don't think it will. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm enjoying that. Oh, that literally took me like, how long was the recording? About half an hour. And I'm actually recording it, for one, for a YouTube video for next week, because I want to answer those art business questions and I want a time lapse in the background, so that's what that's for. Um, and then also I am going to do it as a time lapse, like voiceover tutorial for um, patrons and for my website. So yeah, two uses for that, which I'm really quite excited about. So that's what I've been doing this morning. I've also packaged up some orders, which I need to go to the post box and post a little bit later on. Um, and I'm just cooking myself a chicken doubt burger now, um, because it's three o'clock. And I'm going to eat that, do some gardening, and then I'm going to work out. So that's the plan for today. <laughs> um, a little bit productive, a little bit kind of just kind of, you know, self-care. Um, also, I've decided that I'm going to start a... I've got a second channel on YouTube. Some of you might be subscribed. I was using it just for vlogs. And then I um, decided to just do like weekly studio vlogs on this channel. Um... And I want to make it into my gardening adventure channel. So I'm going to change all that over. might do it this evening and I'm going to start uh, recording later or after I've had my lunch um, with what I'm doing out in the garden today. I just had to bring you out into the, into the kitchen because um, I said I'm cooking my dinner at lunch. Um, let's just chill out in the living room for a little minute. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go and film some stuff uh, that I'm doing, like, because I'm potting up some new seeds today and then transplanting some seedlings of my broccoli. I'm going to thin it out and then transplant them into, like, individual cells. And I think I'm going to replant my spinach because it's just doing nothing. I think we had a little bit of a cold evening when I first did it. So, yeah, I'm going to replant that, so... I'm going to film that and then I'm going to just record my gardening journey on my second YouTube channel. So if any of you are interested in that, I will leave the link to that second channel in the description. I don't know exactly what it's going to be. It's just going to be random gardening footage, I think. Just I want it basically just as a record so that I can look back and kind of look at the mistakes that I've made whilst gardening, mainly. And then if anybody else is interested in gardening and following along, because you will know me as the plant killer lady. So we'll see how many plants I can kill. Um, so yeah, that's what the second channel is going to be useful now. But I'm just going to go and get my lunch and then I get gardening.
scared after noon. It's Friday. I think I have kind of managed to record a full week's worth of footage here. <laughs> wow, that's surprising. Um, today I have some orders to package up and I think I'm going to work a little bit more on the tulips so that I can edit the YouTube video over the weekend so that I can get next week's videos done um and ready so i don't have to worry about those in the week um so this is how far i've got on the tulip i am really pleased with it so far i'm loving drawing this it's so easy and i love the colors <laughs> i feel like i want to do a few more botanical drawings because one i think they're gonna make some nice different kind of cards to add to my shop and also i enjoy them <laughs> so I'm going to be on the lookout for some decent reference photos of different botanicals like not necessarily I don't want to draw a rose like I've drawn a rose I don't want to draw another one I perhaps want to draw some more kind of summer flowers and get them done ASAP so that I can turn them into cards ideally what I'm going to do is finish this tulip and then <sighs> try and maybe finish another one and then put in a card order but i'm running ridiculously low on b cards and i need to place an order for b cards so i want to try and get the tulip done today so i can order b cards and tulip cards and then um i don't have to place another order uh for more cards i'm not going to get the swan done anytime soon like within the next week so I'm not even going to bother trying to get that finished to add to a card yet. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions on botanicals uh, that you think would be a really good idea to draw, I am obviously well into my gardening and it's kind of spilling over into my work <laughs> at the moment. Um, but I'm really enjoying drawing them and I want to maybe create a couple of... I'm going to try the time-lapse version of the tulip tutorial. That's why I want to get this finished today so that I can do that over the weekend as well. So then there's another tutorial up. Um, I want to try it and see how that goes down and see how people like it. Because it's basically working on techniques. So it still falls under like coloured pencil work. And it still kind of falls under wildlife because, you know, flora and fauna are kind of wildlife, I suppose. And I've drawn flowers before, like in the bee tutorial. There's a flower and in the butterfly there's a flower. So I feel like those like uh, focusing on a few botanicals would kind of help especially if people want to draw like backgrounds and things so that's why i'm thinking of going with this i'm just trying to create a reason to draw them basically but i should just draw them because i want to and that's what i'm feeling in the mood to do so yeah i think that is what i'm going to do today it's finished that tulip i have a couple of orders to package up which i'm going to do now i um, not going to get around to doing any gardening today, but my second desk has now turned into my second greenhouse because in the afternoon it gets really warm in here and the sun kind of beams through this door. As you can see at the moment, it's, you can see my cat over there as well, just like died <laughs> in the heat. Um, that vegetable patch gets the, the sun pretty much all day until about half past four as we get into like more June, it will get even more sun, so that's great. Um, and my greenhouse gets the sun pretty much all day as well. Um, and then in the afternoon, the sun comes through here and then it shines onto this desk. So these plants can get some sun as well and some heat. And it's warm in here as well. It's, I say it's warm, but I'm wearing a jumper, but I like to be super duper warm. Um, so yeah, that's my plan for today. This week has been really slow. Like, has anybody else felt this week? It's just been so ridiculously slow and I'm so ready for this week to be over and just to start a new week and start a new body of work potentially on Monday. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sign off for today. I'm going to leave you with some footage of me packaging because what's a studio vlog without some packaging? Am I right? So I hope you have a really good rest of the week. I'm going to enjoy my weekend and I'll catch you guys next week. Bye.